so for today's video I thought I would go through my memory box um, or at least do like a part one of memory boxes. Now, now unfortunately some of my things have gone missing and I'm really gutted about this because if you don't know I lost my mum in 2014 and she loads of my stuff in my memory boxes were related to my mum and like sweet things she used to write for me and I don't know where that box is and it's I think it's been lost in moving so many different places which is gutting but I still have the memories in my head but this is probably my most recent of memory boxes I have one in the loft here which is like old old school stuff so if you're interested in that then you should totally like this video and let me know down below because that would be cool to show you but i'm gonna do like a part one i haven't been through this in a little while so and some of it's got a few of shan's bits for some reason but this is my little memory box it's just a little christmas box because you know love christmas it's actually a really cute box to keep so let's get started now i had i definitely had more things. I think my dad sneakily threw stuff away when he moved house. First thing is this, um, and this was from. It wasn't my very first job. It was my second job, but the first job I was I was in for less than a year, and the shop shut down. And this is quite a significant little card. It's my little co-op membership card, and the co-op is like a, a food store. Um, and the reason it's significant is because Shan used to work in the same store as me, and he without me knowing, told my boss, his, or his boss at the time, to give me the job. I'll, I'll, I'll actually get him, that's a really good idea actually, I'm gonna get him to do a video on how we met, but this is a really significant card because it's like the beginning of when we kind of knew each other, but didn't really, but I'll let him do the explaining. I have some terrible photos I can show you as well. This is just one of them. <laughs> Here I am in all my glory. Look at me, I'm beautiful. This was when, um, in school, you could get the yellow, what they call the yellow jersey, um, and every Friday, I think it was, one person would get it from the school, or three people, one from each, like, wing, because our school was set off into wings. It's kind of confusing, but anyway, it was very hard to get. Not everyone got it. I got it every year. This is the year I got it before I went to Australia, and I think they gave it to me because they were feeling like, oh, she's leaving, she'll never get it again. Little did they know I was going to come back the next year, but I still managed to get it every year. Um, this is a pen that I will probably never use and it's because my mum got it for me because she used to do things like this all the time like she'd be out and she'd just think of me and it was funny because she has well there's three of us I have like four siblings but one of them is from a diff my dad's side um, we're all just as close it doesn't make any difference but so she birthed three children um, and I was her only like birth daughter let's say and so we had like quite a special bond like she was my like my best friend so she did things for my brothers as well but it was very different like she'd go out of her way to like for example this she'd saw this in a shop like in one of the card shops and it's just got my name at the top and then here it says laura um an intelligent and capable individual and i'd come home from school or work or whatever quite often to find these sorts of things just like on my bed and it was the cutest thing and the nicest thing is that shan will do it sometimes for me now not even because he realizes just because he's a nice person as well but this i'll probably never use just because it's got a really huge sentimental value to me the next thing and my dad-in-law will never watch this luckily and i'm gutted is this is a real like stone and it's beautiful and it's uh, it's a real stone whatever it's a real gemstone and they've made it into a rose um it's actually incredible and the bracelet is just as pretty um it's like the little leaves here and it's um <clears throat> got a little clasp to close it and it's beautiful but it got caught on something when i was clearing up or something or whatever I should have just worn it for special occasions, but I was tidying up and I was wearing it and it snapped off. And I haven't had the heart to tell him yet. This was like, he, and the, the nicest thing is, is my dad-in-law um, has never had like a bond with any of like Shan's ex-partners as such, or, you know, his brother's partners or anything like that. Or he's not the type of person who'd go out and buy presents for people for their birthday. It would always be like my mum in law that would do it. And he'd be like, yeah, I totally was involved with that. But he went out of his way to buy this and it's like, so I'm keeping it, and I'm hoping maybe I can get it fixed one day. I don't know. It's a bit of solder, just sort of wedge it together. 
Next thing is this card, which is the most ridiculous thing, and it's so cute though. And it's a little hamster, which looks like it's a lot like my hamster I used to have. Um, and it says, just to say hello, and my mum wrote this whole letter, and it's, I don't know how relevant it will be. So essentially, I got a new, I bought myself a car on finance, and she gave me this card, and it says, to Laura, congratulations on the new edition, as if I've had a child. Or should I say limited edition? So I've got a limited edition car. <laughs> and then she changes pen. I mean, you can see the change in pen here. And she's put an arrow. And so just to give you a bit of concept, Alistair is a little kid who used to live next door to us. He's not little anymore, but he was at the time. And Lucy is his mum. Sorry, lost pen. Had to look after Alistair. Bless. He was feeling sick and Lucy had to go and get her spare key. She had forgotten hers. And then put an arrow from here up to here to make sure I knew how to read. Anyway, back to you. Just a little prezi for the little one. So she got me like um, a few little bits to like make my car look kind of cool, like some smelly bits. Um, all I love. Mummy, Dad, Ryan, Jack, Harvey, Kenzo and last but not least, the fishies. My mum would always sign her cards off with all the animals, which is the cutest thing. And the fact of the matter is, she put everyone and no one had any involvement in this but her. No one ca cared that I got a new car but my mum. <laughs> my dad actually, in fact, actually he said it was a good idea in the end, but he told me off to start with when I said I got one on finance, because it's expensive. Um, and then I got this, and I love this, and I'm gutted because it's never worked. So, I've never been to America. I'm desperate to go to America for so many different reasons. I want to travel to loads of different places, but America is definitely up there. Sham went to America a few years ago when we first got together, so they'd already like got like planned the trip and I wasn't invited, but only because they already planned it. And obviously that's fine, they were going on a family holiday, although they let me stay at their house, so that was pretty cool. But anyway, um, he brought me back, So if I can find a picture I'll insert it here, but he brought me back so much stuff. One of them being this really cool little guy, the beanie on, and it's a speaker. It's never worked, so I want to go back so I can get one, because it's so cute. I want... Okay, next thing is a good luck. This will be from my mum again. It's one of these little, you know the tatty teddies? I don't know where, my, see, my dad definitely chucked those away. And I love my dad to death, don't get me wrong, but my dad doesn't have the same mentality and, and sentimentalness that I do. So here's my mum's very colourful card, so you can see it, there's some hearts up there. It's a bobs, and it says, Okay, she always used to just write little bits and bobs, and it says good luck, so let's see if we can figure out. I don't know what it was, probably for a job. Um, so good luck, Loopy Lou. Loopy Lou was like one of my nicknames, at, and still is one of my nicknames, actually, from my family. Uh, my grandma calls me Loopy quite often, and so do some very close, like, family friends, who are like my best friend's parents. Um, it says, good luck Lupa Lou, wishing you all the best, just be yourself and you'll be fine. All our love, again, mummy, daddy, Jack, Ryan, Harvey, Kenzo, Humbug and the fish you. So at this point, I have my hamster, Humbug, which is funny because I don't think I had it in the one when I had my car. I think, he'd have, I think he died at this point. The other thing that's missing, which I'm gutted about, and I've just realised, so there's definitely been some stuff thrown away. I saved, I know this is really weird, sa I saved from when I was... I don't know. I got this shoe, which I was supposed to put a wine bottle in, but my grandma put an energy drink bottle in there because I used to be obsessed with energy drinks as like a bit of a joke present, like many moons ago. And I kept the shoe out and I put a bottle. When they when Coke had that campaign where they'd have your name on the Coke bottles, obviously Laura's quite like a common name, so I managed to find it, but I kept a full fat Coke in it with my name on it and I was going to keep it forever because I thought when I'm old and my kids look back at like you know when you look back at old school things that your grandparents had and stuff like I just really thought it would be an interesting thing to keep so my grandkids could look back and be like that's what you used to drink like I don't know I don't know how things might change in the future the other thing I kept this is a bit weird I've take I've had a few of them but I kept it don't know why it's Elma um natural chewing gum it's disgusting Shan got this for me from America something some reason it's interesting don't know why someone help me out did you get free from america or was it somewhere else the next thing are these two oh, oh i've dropped one these two frazzle packets now if you don't know how to do this then you're crazy and i can't believe you've never done this i apparently did do this as a kid but i forgot and shan said to me like 
sorry, that's just my fan. Shan said to me like, um, have you ever shrunk your crisp packets? I was like, shut up, you can't do that. And uh, he was right, he's very right. We did these in 2013, which is quite cool because I've got the dates on them, I can still read them just about. Um, and so we shrunk crisp packets one time. And I think this is such a fun activity. If you've got kids and they've got packets of crisps, do this with them. And if you want me to show you how to do it, I'll make a tutorial, but I'm sure most of you know how to do this. But Oh, this is quite funny. So my brother-in-law, um, again, he's not the type to ever really buy people presents. So these sorts of things I keep because they're very rare. And it's just a tag from Christmas. It says, Laura, happy bar mitzvah, lots of love, Rui, which is just... He always writes silly things on things if he doesn't, but normally someone else will buy a present for him to give or he'll just be like, oh, I owe you a gift. So, yeah. This is a little bit gross, but I'm keeping it because it was the last holiday that we went on as a family with my mum around. Um, and I got given this because the guy, the man who worked in the, or owned this restaurant fancied me great. Oh, he's a bit of an old creeper, but I got given a lollipop with, it's a love heart from him. And I know it's probably really gross to keep this, but like I say, it was the last holiday, itchy eye, that I ever had with my mum. And I just, I know it's kind of special to me. And it was a really fun night we had that night. She was really poorly on the holiday, but that was actually a good night. A birthday girl badge. My mum used to get me all of these every year and I had to wear them. And now I'm not one for keeping these sorts of things, but for some reason I did. Um, but I guess it's kind of a big event. So this was the bottle of champagne that we popped on the day that we got engaged, which was on the 23rd of December 2013. What are we now? 2017? Am I married? No, I'm not. <laughs> Will I ever get married? Don't know. You'll have to ask my fiance, which I'll get him in a video soon. Um, maybe this week I'll have them in a video. Um, and then I've got these two badges that say the co-op with my name on the memory and then my membership card as an employee. So that's probably more important than the other one. You get after like, you used to get it after like six months of working there and then you get a discount which is great. We have a little thing where we think eggs are the funniest thing ever. Saying egg is funny. I don't know how it came about. It's just it's just ridiculous or like we call each other eggy and that's like our sign of being affectionate to each other or like oh he's my little egg head or whatever I, I bought him a little egg head like egg maker thing where you put it on, it's a person but you put the yolk in the top of the head and it makes like a little fried egg but looking like a person just as another joke he bought me a rubber egg once for christmas which actually is kind of a weird sexual thing i guess but it's not it's just an egg so I've got like a whole box full still of things and I'm 20 minutes in so if you enjoyed this and you want to see part two of this box and there's some good ones in here I'm telling you there's some great things in here I'm gonna have to half it so I remember so I'll put this bag over the top this dinosaur bag if that doesn't fascinate you I don't know what will otherwise I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe give it a thumbs up let me, know, let me know down below your sort of favourite memory that you've had with a family member or what your favourite thing out of this box was. Um, and let me know what you want to see me and Shan do um, because I will get him in some videos. He's been in like one or two but I think I took them down because it was a bit awkward and they didn't have very many views at the time. And I, like, I don't really care about the views obviously but I just, I think we need to refresh our videos and I'm, I'm not embarrassed to film around him at all anymore so it wouldn't be awkward. So... Yeah, let me know if you want to see him in some videos and we'll do that. Other than that, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!